morning guys this is Mike Denny with Appalachian Fieldcraft um, wanted to do a little video on like tender gathering and ferris rod technique this morning uh, I've got a nice cedar here in my backyard yes I do film videos in my backyard from time to time and if you're on YouTube there's nothing wrong with that man like just get it done we're trying to educate people here but uh you, know, you want to scrape take the, the 90 degree spine of your knife Hopefully your knife does have a 90 degree spine on it. Yeah. As you can uh, see there on the WCSK, that thing is, William has really got that dialed in, you know. Been very impressed with it thus far. Caught the grass on fire a few times just messing around, so it's a great option. But, uh, here. That's gonna be enough. Quite a bit. I got a little extra I scraped off earlier. Let me get down here in front of you. And you just kind of take that, just kind of tear it apart. Just tear it to pieces, pulverize it. You want as much fine stuff in there as you can get. And I don't have a bandana or anything underneath me right now, but. When you're doing this out in the field, you might want to have something laying down to, to catch all that little bitty fluff too. Kind of stick in the middle. Maybe if you're working with, uh, you know, marginal tender, something that's maybe a little bit damp or or that. But uh, yeah, like we're doing, we're doing pretty good there. Hope you guys can see that pretty good. But yeah, let me uh, get this camera adjusted. I'm gonna get over here on the stump and uh, gonna talk about scraping. So uh, see you guys in a second. All right, guys. Now we're gonna show some technique. Now we have the push and the pull method. You guys can see that. And I've got a dang camera angled this way to make sure that everybody sees exactly what I'm doing. Um, the push. That's how I do it with the WCSK, which, you know, I do realize is the greatest survival knife ever made, but your knife will work too as long as it's got a 90, 90 degree spine on it. So you grab it like that. Well, let me get adjusted here where I can actually press down. But you see all that hot lava coming off of there? I mean, you know, in this instance, we're working with a $240 knife, so we want to see some authority. And that is the push method. If you can see that, get right down in there. I like to use that curve on it, but the flat, flat will work just as well. You see all the sparks coming off of there? And now, we have the pull method. And that's going to be more where you get your, this hand, the knife stationary. And then pull it. You pull it. Do it one more time. You pull it. Like I say, if you got a flat knife, it'll work just as well on that too. Just make sure you got a sharp, sharp thing on it. We'll go ahead and catch this on fire. I'm gonna use the push on this one. There you go. Look at all that good stuff. And you know, that'll light up. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps somebody out. Thank you. Get that survival edge.